All right, what's going on YouTube? God of Anime Gaming here. We are back with them Naruto Storm 4 subscribers. Once again, I am overlaying because my Elgato decides not to record even though I hit the record button. But um, I'm going to talk about what happened recently. Dragon Ball Super episode 49. That episode is fucking good. Trunks woke up just there talking his shit. Trunks' future is so crap. I can't believe he defeated the Doria. I mean, Dubois and fucking... Bobbity and he said the Supreme Kai gave him instructions. I'm like, why didn't they show us the Supreme Kai? But either way, that was fucking that was calm. But his future is dead shit. If our future was like that, I would have been boring as hell. Even though most people don't like the Majin Buu arc, but I personally have a problem with it. It is it is different from what Dragon Ball Z normally is, but I have a I don't have a big problem with it, but um Nah it was it was good it was really good but yeah uh, uh, what else what else is interesting black Goku he was doing instant transmission he was trying to do instant transmission when he had his head up when he had his what do you call it his fingers up on his head I was like this man's doing instant transmission and all the attacks looked the same they, most of them like he did one attack where they showed it and it was, looked like he was doing Kamiha but like a dark version of it, I was just like, shit Goku, man. I mean, shit Black Goku, you're fucking... I mean, calling him evil Goku, fuck calling him Black Goku. I was just like, fuck, man. This guy is fucking... He's trouble. He is trouble. And then you know what got me when, when Vegeta... Uh, no, when Goku and Trunks were having a little sparring match. And then fucking... Trunks just went Super Saiyan 2 off the bat, I was just like, like no. I was just there like fucking no trunks and Vichita's there smiling but Vichita didn't get Vichita did not get there that way he got there through Baba T's slave fucking possession trunks got there naturally but he has to think about black Goku before transforming the Super Saiyan 2 it must have been that bad but um nah Dragon Ball Super is ah it's on the, it's on the way to greatness it is on the way to greatness and then Goku just there showing off Super Saiyan 3. Trunks is just there surprised. Goku just moved so fast and just whooped Trunks to the ground. I was just there like, fuck Trunks. It's alright man. I was there like feeling, I was feeling for Trunks. I was there like Trunks, maybe next time. <laughs> maybe next time Trunks. Oh shit. Damn it. Everyone always tries it on Goku man. But people have to understand that he's Goku. He's never gonna lose. He's a legend. Well, he's gonna lose, but he's not gonna—he's not gonna get like defeated. No, he is, but I don't know. I don't know. Goku, you know, is a mystery, man. Akira Tiyama is a mystery. Goku's a mystery. Hey, I'm talking shit right now, but um, but the thing that got me is when the the way they ended the episode. I was just there, like, fuck you guys, Toei, you guys. The way they ended the episode, all you see is fucking Goku there, like black Goku, just fucking no evil Goku. Fucking, he he moved into the spot where Trunks teleported, and then the ring, fucking the time ring, opened up the portal, and I was just like, no, it's over. And then he sees the confrontation, black, evil Goku versus good Goku. I was just there like, no, you're the one. And then my man said you're the one that they call Son Goku. I'm like, what the fuck is your name in my head? I'm like, what's your real name? If he is actually Goku's counterpart from that timeline, his name. That's the key element. They have not said his name yet. I didn't know that's the name they gave him. They just called him Black Goku. They, that might not even be his name. But shit, man. It was fucking good. The episode was good. What else? What else was good? What else? Something else finished as well. My Hero Academia. God. God. All Might just there bluffing, I'm just there like All Might man, it's alright. All Might, it is alright. Just bluffing this man and then there, that, that fucking nasty neck guy was there panicking. I was just there like, fuck, no. Stop panicking, stop itching that neck of yours, that's fucking disgusting. I was just there pissed. They, they need to kill that guy, I can't believe that he managed to escape. That fucking mist guy is a problem. And then all the squ every, all the heroes came, all the pro heroes just came out of nowhere. I was just like, shit, it's a wrap. 
is actually a rap. But Deku, Deku tried it once again. He tried to be a hero. He full powered it without fucking any restraints. He fucking broke his legs. I was just there like, Deku, no, he fucking didn't control it. But his Delta Smash would have done something. If that fucking guy didn't put his hand through the mist, that was gay. I was just there like, fuck, man, that's gay. I was just there like, fuck, no. That mist guy is actually gay. But now he's gone. They caught the fucking... The bit, I don't know, he said he couldn't find that that monster. I can't, I don't know, the, the All Might killer. He, he said he couldn't find him with his warp ability. But he was there. They had him chained up in some next shit. Maybe that was blocking the abilities. But I don't know. But I have no idea. Hello. Uh, no. What the hell is on my phone? I can't hear anything. Hello. But yes, I like I was saying, guys. Ah, and now we've got season two confirmed. It's gonna be great. It's actually going to be great. Season two. Just hopefully it's not anytime soon though, because they haven't got much left. They still got a lot more to adapt. But like I was saying, guys, My Hero Academia is good. I can't wait for season two. I've been watching other stuff as well. Um, what else have I been watching? I mean, you guys are not watching this because I don't think I don't think any of the anime reviews are talking about. It. I don't watch any anime reviews, by the way. But um, nah, because I can kind of get what's going on in the episode. That's why I don't watch anime reviews. This anime really baffled me in the beginning, but it's fucking good. R E zero. That anime is fucking good. Like the guy's got the ability to. Return from death. So basically, if he dies, he relives like a, the next day again. And uh, he can't tell anyone about the ability, otherwise, something will be grabbing his heart. It's fucking sick. It's so good. But the guy himself isn't really that powerful yet, from where I'm at. He's not really that powerful. But the anime itself is just really good. But I haven't spoken about it with anyone because uh, only one person I know. Is watching it but it's a really good anime but I can't really explain more than that because uh, I'm still watching it currently it's going on for 25 episodes it's the only show that's going on for assassination I know I think I talked about assassination classroom but if I didn't it's done man could have oh no we should have to he Tora died if spoiler alert if you guys didn't know and another spoiler alert Kuro Sensei died, and they the way they died was the same. I was just there like, no, two of them dying, like, ah, oh, so fucked up. The way they died was just unbelievable. Where did that them? Ah, right, but yeah, guys, ah, uh, it's really, it's really something, man. And anime is coming together. When good anime are writing good stories that I haven't seen before, it's fucking nice. It really is nice. I don't know what happened to Naruto today, but um, I don't know what happened to Naruto. They didn't come out this week. And but yeah, Assassin's Creed Classroom, we should do Totoro. It's been nice, but all good things must come to an end. And I'm so happy they animated both of those two animes, man, because like you know, you know how it is these days. They don't normally animate everything fully, and that actually really annoys me. Because anime is really just a commercial for the for the books to sell. They're not really meant to animate all the stuff unless it's really popular in the DVD cell and all that. But, yeah, man, guys, it's, it's real nice. It's real nice when anime does well. Especially if it's new and creative. But, yes, as you can see, I'm still doing Naruto. If you guys want me to stop doing Naruto, let me know. But I don't mind doing it. Even though my skills are slowly coming back, but... Yeah, I'll, I'll let you guys decide that. If you guys want me to keep doing that, I will. But when JoJo comes out, it might I might fall off a little bit again. Because I'll have to... Uh... No, it depends with JoJo, actually. Because if I get my par alleged partner to fucking buy the game as well, then... Go oh, my partner's Thundershank, but... He's... he's uh, I don't know. I don't know. He's having money issues, I think. But knowing Thunder Shank, he's got some reserves, some money reserves, so if he doesn't, 
Well, there's always anime fan. But hopefully if Sunday Shank because anime fan, as you guys know, his lag is real. <laughs> his lag is so real. <laughs> God. His lag is out of dimension. No, I'm kidding. He has he has got bad lag, but sometimes it's good. Well, um I don't know. I can't remember actually a time when it was good. But anyway, anyway when we were talking about getting off that topic. Depressing. But um Yes, you can see me decimate with Kaguya. I like Kaguya as a ca no, actually I don't like Kaguya as a character because the way they no Kaguya is actually good, but the way they made her fight was just so weird in the anime. But like they gave her sick combos in the game. I didn't like the fact that they had to seal her away. It, they, sh they should have just defeated her. But you can't expect them to defeat the god of all gods. Not defeat. I don't know. They should have done something. Just sealing her away was a waste because then she can just come back again. I'm surprised that she wasn't brought back in the Boruto movie. Because they bring those next. Kishimoto drew those, drew those next people and they were shit as hell. But ah, man, I don't know, man. I actually do not know. Oh, shit. I'm actually running out of things to talk about, guys. Here's why I like recording when the fucking... When I'm battling. But my Elgato is weird. So sometimes it's not recording the shit. I'm going to have to find out why it does that. I might just have to start recording. I might have to do a test record and then, then play. It actually annoys me when it doesn't record. I See, I always try and sub those. But, yeah, man. It's fucking... It's really annoying. God. I don't know why I like using the females. I just think it's just so funny. People get pissed off when you win with the females, especially if it's someone like Kaguya. Ah, oh, God. I, I get first you trying to hit the ultimates off, but when I do, it's fucking over. Mm -hmm. Spit that shit on him. Yes. Damn it. Ah, oh, man. Naruto, it's been fun. But people don't want to, people don't need to play. It's so bad that most of the Narutubers are coming out and saying that they want patches. But Cyber Connect 2 is not going to listen, as usual. I can't believe he got this ultimate off of me. I can't be I, I literally just noticed when he did it to me that he had that. I was, look how he kills me. I was like, fuck off. Fuck off. Ugh, I actually had a female on my team as well. Damn it. I think he knew that I was going to pick this team. Look at him spinning around. He knew that was just funny. And I spin around just because. Just because. Oh God. Look at that. Come on. Beast out here. I should have tried to finish him with an ultimate. Ah, oh, no. Come on. I actually got him. Fucking hell. Too so bad they didn't update this when the anime came out. And put an actual real picture. Not just the game picture. But anyway, that's it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.